Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianis TEA and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. Happy 2024 everyone! This is officially my first video of the year and like everything else it's been a hot minute and it's late so please forgive me I've kind of taken the holidays off for December. I didn't post that much and I was just enjoying my time with my guy through the holidays since it's been more than a decade since I've had anybody to spend the holidays with. So hopefully you'll forgive me for not posting anything but I'm fingers crossed raring to go to get some things um, filmed today and get them posted shortly. So the first thing I'm going to do is the empties, the final empties of 2023 for December. And a lot of this stuff is just your basic everyday stuff. Um, so you've probably all seen it before. So the normal everyday items that I've had, I've had two shampoos that I've gone through and I both recommend um, both of them. I have the OGX Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Conditioner and the shampoo is excellent as well. You can find them at any grocery store, pharmacy. Even, I usually get them on Amazon because they're delivered like the next day or the day after for free shipping when I have Prime. I also use, even though it's curling, is um, Garnier's Whole Blends Repairing Conditioner Honey Treasures. Um, strengthens and heals damage. And I found that this actually has been a saver for my hair for the last few years. Um, it doesn't pull out as easy as a woman of my age and delicate condition <laughs> of being menopausal. <laughs> Um, my hair tends to shed and come out very easily. So this helps keeps it shine, helps it keeps it in place. Um, there was probably, there's probably the shampoos are in the bathroom still and I'm still going through those. The other thing that I like using in this particular brand is Batiste Dry Shampoo in Blush Flu Flirty Floral. So it has a slightly citrus, slightly rose scent to it and I prefer that over the original. So I did go through a whole one of those. Um, also went through Native, um, which is a natural deodorant. This one was grapefruit and bergamot. So it has a nice citrus scent to it. It is paraben free. It is aluminum free. And not only can you buy them off of the Native website and they advertise all over Instagram, uh, but I actually found this at my grocery store at Ralph's here in Santa Barbara. It was on the top shelf and with my neck issues, I can't look up too often. I'm all, what does that say? Anyway, <laughs> I really enjoyed this. Um, I have a few other smaller samples of not so aluminum free deodorants that I do want to go through, but I definitely will be going back to the native brand as my primary brand of deodorant. The ever-present Pepto-Bismol. Oh, God. My stomach situation is slowly but surely fixing itself. It's been an issue since May. So Pepto-Bismol has been my friend. <laughs> we also have Bounce um, Rapid Touch-Up, wrinkle-free. This helps zhuzh up your clothes. So you don't have to iron. You just spray it down, shake the clothes out, and most of the wrinkles, I mean like 99% of the wrinkles, disappear. It also has a bright citrus scent. So I actually prefer the Bounce scent over the Gain um, wrinkle release product. So I definitely recommend this. If you don't like to iron, if you just need to zhuzh things up if you're traveling, um, if you've worn something once but it's not particularly like dirty or stinky or anything like that, it's just you sat in it for a couple of hours and it goes back in the closet. Just zhuzh it up a little bit with this. I also went through Neutrogena's Makeup Remover. It's fragrance-free, ultra-soft cleansing towelettes. OMG, these things are so soft. They are baby soft. And they leave my skin, after it's taken off the makeup, it leaves my skin so soft. It's such a luxurious feeling. So I definitely, they may be slightly pricier than, let's say, Simple or some of the other... Um, not primary brand uh, items, but I do recommend this one. One of the things that I absolutely love, again, in the Garnier family is Whole Blends, once again, Leave-In Repairing Miracle Nectar from that same Honey Treasures uh, line. Um, it's like a 10-in-1 nourishing remedy. It's like a leave-in conditioner. It helps nourish your hair. Um, 
It moisturizes, improves detangling, smooths flyaways, softens, prevents split ends and damage, repairs strength, conditions, healthy looking hair, adds silky shine, protects against heat damage. Now about the only thing that I do with heat is I blow dry my bangs down because I do like my Betty Banks, but I love this stuff. I truly do love this stuff. So if you like the scent of honey and you need a little more oomph and help with your hair than just a wash off conditioner, I do recommend this. Um, it absorbs really well. It doesn't have any sort of cakey, cracky, weird feeling to it. It just makes your hair incredibly soft and it smells good too. Now my last normal item is again the Revlon Color Silk Beauty Color in Black. Um, I get this off as Amazon in a three pack. It's usually less than, could be as easy as less than $8 for a three pack or as much as $12. But sometimes I've gotten individual boxes for $2.61. Honestly, I, I, I love the coverage. It does really good with the coverage on my hair. Definitely taking after my mother um, when it comes to gray and silver. Mostly silver. I find that mine glints. It's not just a dull gray, but it tends to glint. So I'm going to say it covers my, my silver just right. So that's the normal stuff. All right. So I did a bunch of decluttering. Um, and it's something that I do recommend. I don't do it as often as I should, and as there are definitely other channels that are, are inspirations for me on that. Um, we have a exfoliating and cleansing pad that is well over two years past its expiration date. I got this in a, my very first FabFitFun box, and I haven't gotten FabFitFun for at least two, possibly three years. I think it was beginning of the pandemic, maybe... Was I getting it before my channel? I'm not quite sure. My channel's not quite two years old yet. So definitely, I don't want to take the chance of an exfoliating and cleansing pad, something that's on my face when it's two years <laughs> past its expiration date. So definitely decluttering that. We have a lip topper by Thrive Cosmetics. I actually have not liked any item that I have picked up from Thrive, from their mascara, the tubing mascara that everybody raved about. Um, this is a topper. I've barely used it, um, but it's something that I'm going to have to declutter because it just stays tacky. It does not have a good feel to it. It doesn't have a good scent to it. It doesn't have a good quote unquote taste to it. And I just, I hated it. I used it, like I said, just a few times. Um, it wasn't something that was for me. Honestly, I haven't liked any of the Thrive products that I've picked up at all. So this is getting decluttered. Another declutter item is a Miska Beauty nail lacquer. Um, it's become separated. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but see, it's faded out in color. I've tried shaking it up. It's not my color anyway. It was iJama, I-J-A-M-A, -A, two words, iJama, um, and it's separated. It, there's no way to shake it back into. I've tried to. Um, so I'm just going to declutter it. Um, it wasn't something that I could have given away to somebody. Um, it's just such a mild color. It just sat there and sat there and sat there and I never used it. Now we've got two, three items that are actually eyeshadows. And I didn't use them often enough. I didn't care for them. But Ciate London... And this, I believe, was a full size. Probably got it off of Ipsy, I want to say. And it is a chunky glitter. And it's just caked out, dried out. And it's a marbled uh, glitter called Entwine. I didn't use it often enough. I didn't like it often enough. I didn't care for the formula on my eyes. So it's it's gone. It's it's past. It's it's. It's just caked and dried, so declutter it is. And its twin, also in the marbled, um, was called Wicked. And again, we've got a chunky marbled glitter in a, a dark sort of purpley plum. And it's just dried out. I didn't like the feel of it on my eyes. Um, and you know me, I'm a glitter girl. Uh, but it just, it didn't feel good. I'm not a big fan of Ciate London either. Maybe their lip oils. Maybe that's about it. Um, but that one's getting decluttered. Along the same lines, and I picked this up myself from Amazon. Uh, it is uh, Color Tattoo by iStudio 
24 hour shadow in color number five too cool because I was looking for a silver eyeshadow and again it's caked out dried out um, <laughs> nothing on my finger um, and it didn't really perform the way I wanted a silver to perform I'm getting better use out of a silver that I got off of Timu in a chunky crayon style than this so this is um, unused for the most part only used a few times, dried out, decluttering. This was Paul Michael, Michael Mitchell, Paul Mitchell twirl around. I used to swear by this stuff. However, I can't remember when I bought this, but it's probably two or three years ago and I tried using it and it just looked like I had dandruff left all in my hair like clumps. So it is well past its prime and its use. Um, it's dried out as well, so that's getting decluttered as my bag fills over with heaviness. Two more items. I used to love this lipstick. And I can't even see who it is. I just know the color is G65. And it's a beautiful rosy color. However, there's not much left. Um, it doesn't feel or smell good anymore. Um, yeah, but it's an absolutely gorgeous pinky rose color, and I tried to find it. Oh, it was an Avon product. That's what it was. It was an Avon, and I don't have an Avon lady anymore. Um, I haven't had one for years. I used to have one. She was the cost accounting manager at Mission Linen Supply, where I used to work ages ago, and we've both gone on, and she's actually moved to Las Vegas with another Mission Linen Supply survivor, Gloria, who was in HR. So <laughs> my friends, both Susie and Gloria, now live in each, uh, in Las Vegas, as is an ex-coworker of mine, Rob. So a lot of people are moving to Vegas. More affordable housing than here in Santa Barbara. But literally sustainable probably is it a 30 year old lipstick 30 year old more than 20 year old lipstick um again <laughs> time to get rid of it <laughs> now the other item uh here that i'm decluttering is m2u nyc eye primer uh, <laughs> it's got a little happy face <laughs> on the end of it and this was the very first eye eyeshadow primer that I'd ever tried and it's been sitting at work for years it's cakey it's the perfect color for me but it's it's kind of gotten cakey right now and it's just it's time to declutter I think I got another eyeshadow primer um, in a recent ipsy bag so I'll switch over to that. I'm not, I'm not a big eye primer, eyeshadow primer user, but when, when I've got a chunky glitter that I'm just not quite sure about or there's fallout like Violet Vox. Oh my gosh, Violet Vox has so much fallout, but they have very pretty colors. So that's definitely when I want to use an eyeshadow primer. Okay, and I apologize. Again, the last declutter is by Pixie, Endless Silky Eye Pen. Um... I didn't use it much. It's in a weird sort of brown plummy color. I didn't enjoy it. Um, it's been sitting there for two years unused, so time to declutter. Now the stuff that I actually did use, <laughs> toothbrush, 2024. I deserve a brand new toothbrush. You should be changing it out every time you get sick, Every I think every three months. This is something that I got from a Target box. Target box, yes, because they always did the Hello toothpaste and a bamboo. Uh, toothbrush. I actually really like this toothbrush, but I have a couple Colgate toothbrushes in pink, so I better use those up too. But I really did like it. I believe it was Target. I believe it was the Hello brand. Um, there's nothing on it. I believe it's recyclable because it's bamboo, and I really like that aspect of it. And it's and it's a soft bristle brush, and it just it. I've got a smaller mouth, believe it or not. I've got a smaller mouth, according to my dentist. <laughs> so this smaller brush area fits in all the nooks and crannies in the back that it should go to. Okay, the next is my standard Maybelline Unstoppable in Onyx. This is the eyeliner that I have on today. This is my tried and true everyday go-to, and I absolutely love it. It is a repeat buy for the last 20 years, maybe longer. <laughs> I do like, I'm, I, I am brand loyal when I find the one thing that truly works. So that's what this is. Um, I also 
picked up, I believe all the writing is done off of it, but I believe this was an NYX. Um, it was a, uh, probably a bronze or a brown. And for some reason, the whole thing just fell out one day and it went on the carpet at work. It was like, okay, I'm not going to even try and put that back in there. If it just wants to escape, then let it be free. So <laughs> technically I didn't use much of it, but it had a mind of its own and it escaped. So that's my story. I have another uh, 24 hour uh, stay um, Maybelline stain, lip stain. This one was in Keep It Red. And I believe they still do have that, but I've used it up. It is dried and empty. So it is time to pick up a new one at Amazon. And that's what I will be doing shortly. Wow, this one took me a while. This is Garnier Skin Active Ultra Lift Anti-Wrinkle Firming Eye Cream. And I believe at the time back in 2020 or 2021, which is when I started this, May of 21. Prior to that, I believe Allure had it listed in their magazine as one of the top eye creams um, that they had uh, listed for that year. And that was probably 2020. So yeah, <laughs> finally used it up. <laughs> It's good, but I probably won't repurpose it because there's so many other eye creams that I really want to try. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? I had a few more Eight Saints going around. I know I finished the whole package of it, um, but they must have had extras. So here's the Seeking C Vitamin C Serum, which was, eh, it was fine. And a Swirled Mud Gel Cleanser, which was kind of gross. So I used both of those up and they are going to get tossed in the trash. Now, one of the things that I did love was Perlice. A few months back, I don't know, maybe pre-summer of 2023, Perlice came out with three new moisturizing scents, colors, flavors, whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, there, was there were definitely different colors, a pink, a green, and I want to say a yellow. And this Perlice was dragon fruit and niacinamide moisturizer. And I not sure if I've used both of them, but I bought two of each, so I had six moisturizers. So there's still some down in Mabigol's stash there, but I like this. Um, I started it in July of 2023. So I've used other moisturizers in between, but that's when I started this one. Now, oh, here's the, no, here's another Perlis item. And I didn't enjoy this, Pineapple Bright Cleansing Gel. I am not a fan of, of cleansers. I like using my makeup removers followed with a micellar water on a pad and then a toner on a pad and then moisturizer. So this took me forever to use. I started this November of 2021. That's how much I don't like cleansers. <laughs> but I mean, the scent was fine. It did what it was supposed to. It's just my, my jam. All right. And here's some more cleansers. Glossier, G-L-O-S-S-I-E-R. This was started in October. I don't think it was started in October 2023. I think it started in October 2021 or 2022. I didn't put the year on it. But it was a milky jelly cleanser conditioning face wash. Again, didn't really particularly care for it. I know I started in, in, in October, but I'm positive it wasn't October of 2023. So 20. 2020, 2021, maybe. It's taken me that long to go through it. Uh, let's see. We've got um, Essen Herb, Essen Herb, Black Tea Peeling Gel, Mild Black Tea, Soft Peeling, Clear and Smoothing Skin, 20% Cellulose and Glycerin, and Carmelia something leaf extract. Um, so it's sort of a cleanser, I guess you would call it. Um, that when you put it on and then after a few minutes you rub and it sort of peels off the dead skin along with it. Um, it was cool at first, kind of weird afterwards. All right, we're doing the last of the flat goods. So we've got the... Um... Hi, I'm filming. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm... Hi, y'all. How y'all doing? We all intelligent up in this pace. Go away. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll look at it when I'm done filming. <laughs> Brat. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, thus I am. Natural Detox Apple Mask Sheet. 
Um, I've bought this before. I bought it prompted by Mary Catherine's uh, alerting us to a BoxyCharm drop shop when it was still BoxyCharm, not BoxyCharm by Ipsy. Um, but this one I did buy from Ipsy. Um, so I do like this one. I still have one more in my stash. It has a nice sort of apple cidery scent to it. So it has a, a nice crisp, clean scent. Um, this is one of the things that I got from Timu, just a tiny little moisturizer. I love these little things. I've got a whole box of various different um, moisturizing from, you know, tea tree to snail to, I can't even read this one because the maroon on maroon, you just can't read it. So they do their job. They're cute little things. I also did a Dermal uh, Acai Berry mask that had a very nice scent. I do recommend the Dermal brand. Um, you can get them off of Amazon. They come in packs of various different sizes. You can get a 12 pack, a 24 pack, a 36 pack, a 38 pack. They come in lots of packs. I also did a steam eye shade in Rose and that one came from Timu. Thank hey you. Hey I'm back! The next is a Sephora uh, hemp mask, and I got that from my subscriber named Alexis. I haven't seen her in a long time. Her and her husband are truckers, and uh, I'll have to send her a note to say thank you. I remembered her, and this is one that she had sent me in a very large friend mail. The next is another eye mask. It was a steam mask in rose, and this one I got from Timu. It was okay. I liked it. I do like the steam mask. They feel very nice. And the last item was something I bought off of Amazon probably last year. Um, vanilla extract and milk essence facial mask and uh, from Spa Life. And uh, that had a nice sweet little scent to it and did a pretty good job. So that's it. That is my empties for 2023. I, apparently I have a present. I have a present. So I'll have to find out what this is. <laughs> at another time and my god brought me cranberry juice so that is it for today that is my empties for december 2023 thank you all for joining me today us today <laughs> so please take good care of yourselves take good care of each other and i'll see you around the net bye